Collier Motors Paint and Body presents uh, Coach Matt Griffith, the uh, Coach's Corner segment here on a Thursday morning. Coach, good morning to you, sir. Good morning. And, uh, a tough road trip uh, down uh, to, uh, uh, I guess that's in East Alabama, right? Yeah. Uh, Beauregard. And uh, they didn't treat you very kindly. Well, a lot, a lot of skill. I mean, that's a, I tell everybody, you know, Beauregard five, seven years ago was a little 2A, 3A school that just exploded outside of Auburn and Opelika. And, you know, for the last four or five years, they probably won 11, 12 ball games. Mm-hmm. They bumped to 5A three years ago. They never missed a beat. I think he won 12 games last year. And a uh, lot of skill, a lot of speed. Uh, we scored with them for a while. And then, you know, they they just they, they had a lot of weapons. And, yeah. and, and they're well coached. I don't mean, you know, a lot of people, they, they have. They're getting a lot of their skill out of Auburn and sure. Opelika High School. And, but but they're well coached. You can't blame a coach for that if kids are transferring in. So, uh, But uh, we found out. You know, we're, we're not quite as good as we got a ways to go. Yeah, we do. And, and thank goodness we got an off week yeah. and and uh, we can get some things fixed and go into the Childersburg game and then hit back in region play. We'll talk more about uh, Beauregard last week and Childersburg uh, after the off week uh, next Friday night. Uh, and, and you guys are off this week. Sure. Time to get some nicks and uh, bruises healed up. But, but uh, you know, there's uh, junior varsity mm-hmm. teams. Do you get to watch any of that at all? Well, we, we coach in the B team games. Okay. Our varsity staff does the ninth and 10th grade games combined. And uh, uh, we think, you know, because we practice those kids with us. And, uh, you know, they're 2-0. and They're doing really well. And they've won both games in the closing seconds, kind of like the Aniston varsity game. Mm-hmm. We, we followed the Aniston game by an Aniston B team game that we won in the closing seconds. And then last Monday, we beat uh, – uh, Montford with 30 seconds left to go on the clock. We hit a wheel route with Jordan Ridgeway. So uh, that was a lot of fun. Our, our junior high program under uh, Coach Slayton, brand new coach, is one and one. They're playing much better than they have over the last couple of years. They're really running our system well. They're doing a good job. Uh, I think they've got Talladega next Tuesday night. And uh, I don't get to watch the seventh and eighth grade as much as I want to. So what we do is a little unique at our place. And we've done it for years in that we bring our seventh and eighth graders and we bus them to the high school on a Thursday afternoon. Well, our Thursday practice is a short hour and Mm -hmm. 10 minutes. We do that in fourth block, cut our kids loose. And then our varsity coaches get our ninth graders and we scrimmage our eighth graders and we get to see every kid eighth through ninth. So play each other and we get to put those pieces of where they think they're going to go. How do you keep up with it? I mean, that's a lot of (laughs) scrimmages, a lot of games, uh, a lot of kids. But you mentioned the Ridgeway young man. Yeah. I mean, he's already instrumental uh, at the varsity level. Sure. And it's because we spotted him in the seventh and eighth grade and we bumped him up this year, and he's now starting to catch up. There's a process of catching up offensively and defensively, and and that knowledge doesn't hit them hard to about the 10th mm-hmm. or 11th grade where they truly understand everything going on. So that process has to be done. And like right now, we're, we're dressing Jordan and a kid named Chase Ivy on a Friday night, and they're packaged. You know, if, they, if you ever see them come into a game – they know the original five play package. Mm-hmm. So, you know, if you're up there and you got, well, they keep running the same plays with those kids. Well, there's a reason why they're not quite ready for the entire package. So, um, uh, you know, I, I like the way we do things. I like that our varsity coaches know every kid eight through 12. I think that's important. And it's important for our junior high coaches to see how we do it. Uh, I can't say enough of getting some of that stuff fixed down there. We went through a year or two that wasn't very good. Coach Slayton stepped in. We hired Coach Wilkinson, who's done a good job from Fayetteville. And we also moved Ricky Coleman down from varsity to junior high to help that situation. And it tells you how important we feel our junior high program is. And I'm sure it makes those kids at the lower levels say, hey, you know they're they're noticing me. They're sure. they're they're coaching me at a young level, and who knows where that they might be in two or three years. You do. You know we do the same thing in spring training. You know most of our varsity coaches and our football coaches are head coaches in a spring sport, but we take what's not a head coach and we put them down on spring training, and we run spring training for ten days for our junior high kids. Yet again, 
to know all those kids, seventh through twelve. So it, it's real important, and you never know. You know, people people don't remember that Josh Crow, who was one of the better running backs we had here, was a right guard in the seventh grade. <laughs> he was a right guard in the eighth grade. He gets to us in ninth grade, and he had lost twenty pounds. And we time him on a forty. We move him to running back, and the rest was history for about three years. So, but if you're not paying attention to those kids. You never know what's going to get lost in the shelf. You know, uh, uh, a case in point of, of a, a young man who you saw and your staff saw early on was our star student of the month yesterday That's morning right. and is a great running back, Alex Thomason, right Al- now. Alex Thomason, we've watched Alex since the seventh grade. You, you got to remember that, and I, did, I really don't think about these things as much as other people. Jackson Walker, my quarterback now. You know, Jackson said, Coach, you know, we hadn't had a losing season since I was in second grade. And I kind of looked at him, and and, and I started counting back to when he was in third grade and second grade and how how long this staff's been together Mm -hmm. and how successful our program has been. 12 years? 12 12, 12 years. And uh, that kind of hit home. That these kids have been raised in a community, they they don't know any better. They 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 don't they're not like me and you that remember twelve or thirteen mm-hmm. years ago or fourteen years ago that we we'd had three head coaches in three years and and uh, but that's a good thing. It's mm-hmm. good that they don't remember it, but we need to keep remembering where it doesn't happen again. So uh, with an off week this week before Childersburg, uh, an inner county arrival next week. Wh- mm-hmm. What do you how do how do you guys work this week? I tell you, we, we like the off week, and I tell you now a lot of people give their kids Monday off and Friday off, and they only practice three days. We've had this for three years now. We uh we we're going to practice Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And we take them through regular practices, and then we give them Friday off. We'll work them out hard in the weight room Friday, and then we'll send them home. And then all the coaches, there's three different games we're going to scout. We'll split the we'll split the staff three ways. Uh, I tell you what it allows us to do. We'll go from a 15-minute individual to a 20-minute individual, and we really go back to almost your second and third week of practice, and you hone in on the fundamentals. You hone in on the things that you think, okay, these things have slipped going into game five. We've got to redo this and mm-hmm. redo this. And, and I tell you what we do, it's like Alex. We've got him on shutdown. He's had a strained quad for, a, for going into last week. Still ran for 155 yards <laughs> against probably a team that's going to the semis at least, that, who has a shot at the state championship. And uh, so he's on hold down. It allows me to work a quality be-back replacement and work some of those young kids. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you yeah, know, we've enjoyed it. Our kids respond well. We'll, we'll. we'll practice again today. I think today's Thursday. I lose track of my days. And uh, and uh, we'll, we'll watch the seventh and eighth grade scrimmage a little bit today. And then Friday we'll go scout. So you're not – the coaching staff not sitting up in the recliners eating little <laughs> no. Debbie Sack cakes. Yeah, it no doesn't way. happen. It doesn't happen. Wow. The only off they've got, we worked Saturday till 1 o'clock, and we worked Sunday till 10 o'clock. We go from 2 to about 8 usually on Sunday. We work till 10, and then they'll get this weekend off because mm-hmm. all the scouting's mm-hmm. done. I mean, that's – so this is the only weekend they will they ever get off mm-hmm. – during football season, and it's because of the offense. You're three and one uh, coming mm-hmm. off first loss uh, at Beauregard, and uh, leaves a bad taste in your mouth. It does. Uh, it, it does. It's been a while since we felt we got in the fourth quarter, and it's been a while since this football staff felt a little helpless. Mm-hmm. You know, where where we could not control their speed and their ability to his ability to go get that quarterback and that quarterback to throw the football and have a D1 running back, and probably the backup may be a D1 guy, the ability to run the football and throw the football effectively like they did offensively gave you a sense of helplessness. All right, now, uh, before we go this morning, uh, is there a JV game, a B-team game tonight? or? or oh, no, we don't okay. play any on Thursday. Okay, we, so we, it's Monday? Monday we will play Clay Central at home. Okay. And then on Tuesday, we play a 7th and 8th grade game away mm-hmm. at Talladega. Well, I know you get a lot of support, because I see them piling in. I saw them Monday, I think it was, or Tuesday, piling into the stadium. Man, it, it, it was fantastic. <laughs> it, it, we haven't done them back-to-back like we have the last two home games where we play a 7th and 8th grade at 5 o'clock and play a B-team game at 7 o'clock, mm-hmm. and that has been awesome. That's our fans have enjoyed it. We've enjoyed it as coaches. We watch our seventh and eighth grade play. Then we coach in a B team game, and it's it's from seventh. 
you know, till around 10th grade, you're getting to see every kid. It's good. So no little Debbie snack cakes and no remote in the tube, right? That's right. That's right. <laughs> coach Matt Griffith, our guest this morning, the head football coach and athletic director at Silicon High School. And we wanted to showcase our, our junior highs and B teams this morning a little bit since uh, the Aggies varsity is off this week, uh, getting ready for Childersburg. And, Coach, we'll see you again next Thursday. All right, thanks for having me. All right, more on Daybreak as we continue here on this Thursday morning.